I see it. Uh oh. So why are you getting those, Jamie? You're vi filming? I don't have any makeup on. I've got a zit here, 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 and the reason is Mama's having another baby. I'm having a girl. I'm super excited. You guys have watched me balloon out and shrink, and I got to my pre-baby weight, and then I got pregnant again. So I just want to tell you, all it takes is one time, honey. It's, the police are coming for me. I gotta run. I gotta hide. Guys, welcome to another episode of EPMA, and that stands for Everybody's Personal Makeup Artist. It's me, Jamie Greenberg, your personal makeup artist, and I just wanted to answer something. At MM Devo, can you post how-to video of this look at Jamie Makeup? Question mark. She was talking about Teenie's look from her wedding. So I was like, girl, I'm gonna hook you up. Teenie's one of my homegirls, and I love her so much, and we've been through so much together. No, Teenie is a hair cutter. Yes. Correct. Teeny Christine Simons is a celebrity hairstylist to the stars in Hollywood. Lenny calls her a hair cutter. Some of her clients include Chelsea Handler, Jessica Simpson, Kaylee Cuoco, and the list goes on. And this is an ode to Teeny. She just got married. I'm so happy for her and I got to do the makeup on the wedding day and that's so special. You're getting married and what are you doing? Free gaming. At in and out Animal style? Mm. Oh my god, you're an animal. So Teeny doesn't wear a lot of makeup. So Teeny wasn't even gonna have anyone do her makeup. But I was like, Teeny, gotta let someone do your makeup. So this look is a bridal look, but it's super easy. Like there's, we skipped a ton of steps. First we started with Teeny's brows. And what we did was we took the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in soft brown. And what I did was just kind of fill in and create a shape for her. Now, Teeny already has pretty good brows because she's got like a little bit of microblade in there. Microblading is like a semi-permanent. It's almost like a tattoo. And, but it's like, if you don't like it, it ends up going away. And they do like brush strokes for hair, which I wanted to get, but now I can't because I'm pregnant. I will cut the cord and go get microbladed for you guys, okay? I went back to my brow pro palette using soft brown again. And then kind of just went over everything super lightly, kind of just setting it for the night because I knew that we were going to like get down on the get down and dance and stuff. And then I went in with the Black Rose Skin Infusion Cream, which is the newest cream from Sicily. I think it hasn't even come out yet. I think it comes out in June. And if you love rose, this transports you. The cream is super whipped and it has a little bounce to it. You see that? It's a plumping and radiance cream. God knows I need the plumping, but the radiance, the radiance is why I used it. Um, it's super hydrating and it just gives so much radiance to the skin. I'm not putting it on my forehead because I have bangs. So remember we don't put like a lot of emollients under the bangs because A, you're not going to see it and B, uh, it gets the bangs really greasy. So you can see my skin is definitely going through it. Um, I've had so many breakouts and it's been insane. I mean, I think it might be due to the fact that like I eat cookie dough on the regular now, but I think it has to do something with hormones. So next I took the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Marie Antoinette. Do you guys like this brush? This is a silicone brush that I was working on a brush line a long time ago and we created this brush to apply creams. And I think I've used it one other time with you, but I'm curious, would you buy this brush if I sold it? I'm just curious, because we never did anything with it. It's kind of fabulous, because it just swipes it on super smoothly. It's shaped like the one that comes in the package, but then it just eases. It's like an ease. I like it. Maybe you've seen other brands have it, I don't know. So we use this as the primer for the beautiful Tinny Teeny. I took Smith & Cold, and I've used this before, Noon Sweet. I'm obsessed with this palette. As you can see, it's like a perfect nudie palette with a teeny bit of like brownie eggplant. And I took a little bit, see, of these two. First I started with this one. 
and I just went on top and reinforced just gives everything just like this nice bronzy glow because we wanted her to be bronze goddess and it's funny because I was really working slowly with her because she doesn't really wear a lot of makeup and I didn't want to scare her and then we went in with this one so I was doing it slowly, letting her watch the whole process. Then I took this little darker brown color and I put it on the outside and she was like, wait, I've never done that before. And I was like, trust me. And then when I put on her mascara, she was like, oh my God, I love it so much. And put a little here, just to give a little definition, but not too much. Gave her a teeny bit of teeny. Every time I say teeny, you need a drink, okay? Or eat some cookie dough. Put a teeny little dab of highlight right in there, like so. Oh yeah, honey, oh yeah. And then we didn't use any eyeliner because teeny didn't want it. Then I went in with this Waterproof Dior Show Color Contour Stick, and I took the smaller side of the stick, which is like a brown taupey color, and I went under the lash line just to give her a little definition. Again, we used nothing on the top lash line. And then I kind of just blurred the edges. And then the thing about this is once it dries, it doesn't go anywhere, so she can cry. I took some of the It Waterproof. Hello, we're crying here, we're getting married. Tight line. And I really gave her a good dose on the bottom lashes. Like a really good dose. On the top lashes, I used Better Than Sex Mascara and I curled them with the Troy Surratt Curling um, Curler. Eyelash curler. <laughs> That's the name. Let me tell you something else about being pregnant. I can't think of any words. I literally sound... It's my husband. Let's see what he has to say. Hi! How are you? Say hi! hi. To YouTube audience. Hey, what's up everybody? Well, I have your niece and your, and your sister. Hi, Allie. You're on YouTube. Where's Reed and... Hi, Reed! Then I took some of Laura Mercier's hydrating primer and I applied it all over where I was going to apply the foundation for Teeny Weenie Bobanini. Teeny Weenie Bobanini Banana Banana Bofini Teen My Monini. I just made up that whole song. Teeny! Okay, so that's drying. Dry, 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 dry. And then we took the Japanese foundation. Saku. You can get it in London and I'm going to be going to London soon and I'm going to get it again. So we took a little of this and we buffed it all over the skin. You know what? Love the skin you're in. Even if you're eating cookie dough every day and gaining weight, you just got to say YOLO. Light foundation. Super pretty where you can see all of your skin and all of its glory. You can see your freckles. She didn't want to be blocked out. She wanted to see her skin. She wanted it to breathe. But it still gives a really nice, it covers what it, you need it to cover, I like to say, with this foundation. It's a very expensive foundation. I use it sparingly and only for special occasions and special people. And then to touch up a little bit in the imperfection, I took this Bobbi Brown palette. It has concealers, foundations, obsessed. And I just went in and lightly covered up anything that needed special attention. So I'm super dry around here. Kind of hide the redness. There's like a little third eye growing here. You get all this stuff happening to you when you get pregnant and it's kind of insane like parts of your body do things they've never done before it's not the same with every kid uh, Lenny was a joy and I had zero sickness Simon had a little sickness this one and now that we're here I can tell you guys 
I have been so ill. I even took off a couple weeks of work. Um, I played up my social media so you couldn't really tell, but I was in bed binge watching every show on Netflix like I had mono, but I really just couldn't do anything. It was awful. I probably am going to cut back to one video a week and I hope you guys aren't mad about it. We can hang out on Instagram all week, get a snap every day, an Insta story every day, but I think just for now, and I hope you guys are cool with it, we're just going to drop videos on Saturdays, Saturday mornings. So I apologize because we were kind of on a roll, but I just am so tired. I just derailed our whole thing. Then I took a little bit of this Laura Mercier translucent powder, which is one of my faves. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. Y'all know that, okay? We went in, honeys, with the Tom Ford Illuminator, took a little bit of this white illuminator, placed it on the apple, above the apple of her cheek, like on her cheekbone, like so. And again, she wanted to be bronzy and gorgeous. I took a little bit of the, like so, like so and then blend it in so it's not super obs. I mean, I should be contouring every day, homie, because I'm looking, I'm gonna get over it, but I'm just saying. And I took the Beauty Counter in Caramel, which is this Beauty Counter, it's all natural, color pinch cream blusher. And I took a little and I placed it on the apple of her cheek and worked it up, kind of blended it up. I also did use a beauty blender on her, but mine is in the kitchen because I haven't washed it. And <gasps> sorry guys, I almost killed the camera lady, Kelsey. And then I went in, I did a lot of layering and I took Stila convertible in Peony and I went on top of that and kind of built this one up more behind the cheekbone and up like so kind of creating this triple layer situation. But we didn't stop there. No, we didn't, people. We went to Glossier's Cloud Paint in dusk, and that's where we ended things. Took a little of this, place that right there. And you might be saying, why didn't you just use one color? But you can see they all have a kind of a different hue. And we were creating this gorgeous bronze goddess situation. And again, she wanted it to be natural. So it was all about just bronzy goddess. And that's what we did. And then we finished up with Rouge Coco Style Script. It's Rouge Coco Stilo Style Complete Care Lip Shine. And this is in 218 Script. Thank you so much for joining us. I had a wonderful time. Happy birthday to Teeny. It's coming up this week. And also comment below, EPMA is here to stay. And so guys, ask me questions. Hashtag EPMA, hashtag Jamie Makeup when you ask the questions so I can get to them easier. And have a wonderful weekend and a week. And I'll see you guys next week. And I love you, mean it. And subscribe and comment and do all that stuff. Bye.